Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I've been getting quite a few requests for possible items you could make for a wedding or a shower or even an outdoor picnic. So for today, here's our project that was inspired by those requests. I took one of these plain vigil candles, that's what they're called, that you can get in the supermarket and turned it into this. And I will show you how we can do this. And I'll even give you a tip on how to prevent it from burning out. And the first thing you'll want to do is take a straight edge razor and remove the sticker that is sometimes on the bottom, but sometimes it's on the side. You just take the straight edge, get as much of that sticker off, and then you take 91% alcohol with a cotton swab and rub the rest of that away so that you've got a nice clean surface. Now when I mentioned I had a tip so that this wouldn't burn out, this candle will not burn all the way down because enough oxygen doesn't get down in there. So what I do is I take one of these votives with the metal on it in the background there, you can see that, and I light it for a couple of hours. You wanna make sure you're home when you're doing this. When you light this, it heats up that whole metal part and it in essence melts down into the candle and you will want to then, while it's melted, just put on some gloves and pull that candle holder out so that you've now got a space in there to keep adding a new votive each time. These are called vigil candles. And from what I've read, it can be dangerous if you try to just burn this candle the way it is. So I suggest that you keep adding these new small votives each time they burn out and then you can preserve your candle forever. And I'll give you two options on how you can cover this glass. There's something called Zinser Cover Stain that you can run to the hardware store and pick up and it's perfect for glass. You can see on the back here where my thumb is pointing that it says it is for glossy paint used over to be used over non-galvanized metal, glossy paint, glass, etc. So you can use this, or I will be using chalk paint, but you can spray this on. Two light coats will do you just fine. And since I use chalk paint on this, I applied my first coat using a roller. It dried really quickly. And then the second coat, I did, I used this brush that they recommend for furniture and did a light second coat over the whole piece. Now it's important to use napkins that have the same background color so that you don't see any lines when you're decoupaging. And rather than cut with the scissors my flowers, the individual flowers out, I used a brush and I went all around the images and then I carefully tore away the images that I wanted. If you are using these for a wedding table or a shower table, you can use any images that fit your theme and any colors. You do just want to make sure that that background color of the napkin is white, just like your candle. So I, cut, I tore a bunch of these images out and put them aside, and I did not separate the layers of the napkin yet. I'm going to wait to do that until I'm ready to decoupage. Now I'm ready to decoupage. And if you dip your fingers in water and just flick the water off a little bit, it's a little bit easier to separate these layers of the napkins. And I'm going to separate all of the pieces that I need. And now I'm going to brush on a light amount of decoupage glue just where I'm going to place my image. And I'm going to place that separated image down and take a piece of saran wrap and pull this tightly around. Now for some reason with this particular project, it worked much easier when I bunched the saran wrap up. I placed the image down, I bunched the saran wrap, and then I pressed it down. And there were no wrinkles and it came out much nicer that way. 
When I was all done, I set the piece aside to dry, and if you've got any pieces along the bottom or the top like this that need filing away, just take a nail file and get rid of those. And as long as you're sure everything is dry, we want to add one coat of decoupage glue over the whole surface and put it aside to dry. Now once that is completely dry, I am using this top coat called Triple Thick. It is what it says, it's triple thick, and it is a very high, rich gloss. And you have to use an acrylic brush for it. You can't use a sponge brush for this. And I'm going to cover the whole surface with this Triple Thick. Triple Thick also works as an adhesive or a glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking some coarse glitter and I'm going to cover the section where I just applied the Triple Thick with glitter. By the way, with the Triple Thick, if you're using this, you can't go over the area several times. Maybe three or four times you want to go over one area with the Triple Thick. It can get too thick and start to get lumpy and that's not good for anyone. So just don't overwork the triple thick if this is what you're going to use. You do need to use a top coat over decoupage glue. And here are two additional tips for the triple thick. This actually is a great tip for any glue or top coat that you're using. You should pour it out of the main container into a smaller disposable container. This way you will keep all of the dust and the debris that just floats around in the air from getting back into the container of your original product. Also with the Triple Thick, if you put a tiny amount of Vaseline or petroleum jelly around the rim, just a tiny bit, it will keep that lid from sticking on there. And here is our completed project for today. I thought I'd bring this outside and hopefully you can hear some of the birds like I'm hearing them. And you can see how this would look lovely in the middle of a floral centerpiece. Under drop lighting or halogen lighting, you can use these for showers, picnics. There's so many uses for them and you can see with that glitter on there how it really brings a nice element of sparkle and magic and romanticism to the project. So thank you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate that. If I can help you with any of your questions, please feel free to ask them below any comments. A lot of stuff is happening right now, so I cannot get back to you right away. I also have a Facebook page, Upcycle with Decoupage. Feel free to go over there and like and follow the page so you'll be notified every week when I put out a new video. Upcycle with Decoupage is also the name of my website. If you're looking for any of the supplies, you can go on over there. The links for all of these things are below. Thanks again. I hope you're well. I'll see you next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.